Always Lonnie, man. Are we still going to do a bit of a pre before we mm. fade in? Yeah, I like that, man. Sure. And then, but then when you edit you it, it'll be more of a fade. Yeah, you just decide the point. You just decide where you want to cut in. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I mean, talking like this right now, it gets us into the zone. Yeah. Gets us into the zone. Mm. Feels nice. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. You know, people are going to hear my voice. Sometimes I overthink it. Sometimes I'm like, whoa, that's my voice. We need to put headphones. We need to get headphones so you can hear your own voice. But what's it? It's not going to change my voice. Um, no, but you, it'll be a reminder like, hey, my voice is so fucking annoying. I need to change how I sound completely. I I wanna, I'm totally talking shit. I want to sound more like Kelly from High Five. Yeah. Nah, I'll change myself. Yeah, yeah I'll change myself. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go into go for it. it man. Welcome to On Our Phones and In The Real World. My name is Jaden Shepard. And sitting across from me is my co-host, Ben Myers. Ugh, I'm dying. But yeah, what's up? Did, what, what did you... I didn't, even hear the, I didn't even hear the intro. What did you say? Did you do it good? <laughs> uh, who knows? We're in it now. I wasn't listening. Before so. I go, are you, you feeling better, okay? You better have done it right. Yeah. And before I said, are you feeling okay? You mm. go, yeah, I'm fine. Now was, you, you was, say that you're dying. I was lying. It cha- oh, no, actually it changed. It changed. It changed. It very the- quickly. Yeah. I'm sorry. No. We got, I hope we you're going to be okay. Dude, we got half an hour. We're good. Um, and we're fine. And then we're, and then you ever heard fine. of a little thing called Powerade? Oh, Electrolyte. Oh, Electrolyte. Yeah. It's actually really good. Like, pretty good. Right now. You know what I turned down last night? Uh, vodka? Drugs. Oh, what kind? Uh, ketamine, cocaine, all of it. Mm, the old cat, hey? <laughs> you know about cat? The old cat? Yeah. Isn't it for horses? Uh, that's, yeah, what people, you know, people say. Is I, think, it a joke? I think it's, no, 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 I think it just is used as like a, yeah. a horse tranquilizer. No, but, I, but I think that's why there's like sort of s- stigma around these drugs that um, probably should be used for therapy in certain regards to mental health. Right. They're doing a lot of studies recently about psilocybin, about the benefits of psilocybin yep. around CBD. That's sort of um, becoming a more like prominent and mainstream. Le- uh, it's, uh, it's fucking like, yeah, it's legalized here now. It's for over-the-counter sales. You well, can buy it online now. Speaking, you know? speaking of uh, medical use, rather mm. recently, um, Olivia Newton-John passed away, RIP, mm. but she was a big advocate yeah. for medical marijuana. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, Massive yeah. advocate. She, Her daughter has yeah. a business in America. Good on her. And she... Uh, uh, tried multiple times to speak to the Australian mm. government about uh, her experience, yeah, 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 yeah. and it kind of fell on deaf ears. Yeah, and it all comes back to what does it come back to? It comes back to policing. No, I think I think it comes just around to like you, uh, around stigma of oh, what, tr- of what these drugs have done, around yeah. what ketamine has done, and what it is traditionally used right. for. But it's like the um, it's like they I, I, th- I don't know if they're using MDMA here at the moment, but I, I know yeah, they are using uh, ketamine treatment, which is S-ketamine, which I believe right. is like. A twenty, uh, like about a twentieth of what would be used as a like recreational, recreational. dosage, um, but, but it's that? like I over the course it... of like fucking weeks, and it's v- apparently like signs. in levels of comparisons to SSRIs and uh, okay. what's the other one like uh, shock, like shock treatment and shit. Oh, I gotcha. It's like way more beneficial and a lot more safe. Yes, um, and they're only just sort of starting to clear well, permits for these. You know things. me, I know very little about this stuff, but oh, I'm going to believe every word you're saying. Do and I know yeah. so, and dude, I know so much. You do. <laughs> How much have I read on this? A lot. What? Nah, like ah, uh, was it peer reviewed? Uh no, it's all Reddit. No, it's, no. <laughs> <laughs> which by the way, four chan. Yeah, dude. Oh, which nice. by the way, I've got a couple of uh Reddit and like um, what's it called? What's the other one? Quora or something? I've never heard Quora. Of that Quora. Quora. Um, Quora. Yeah, it's like a. Similar that sounds just... like an Australian bird. Sure, 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 sure. Sounds like some kind of native animal. It could be for all we know. Well, Maybe that's where it started. We are very patriotic here. <laughs> On the show, um, yeah. should we play the national anthem again? No, we shouldn't. That was, we'll leave that in the past. Um, um, but what I was going to say was, we were talking about what were we talking about. We're talking about cat. <laughs> we're talking about cat. Oh yeah. So, um, people have this idea. Oh uh, no, we were talking about me using a reference in a fucking like for my uni essay. Assignment, yeah, yeah, that is like two, um, like one from Core and one from Reddit. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Do you think like, you should have used it? Uh, I sort of asked for a clearance, and they were they were like, ah, yeah. And I said, ah, that's... It always depends on the context of what you're writing. You well, know? they want me to... I'm talking about Australian shows and why, oh. they may not, and why they may not translate well in America. Oh, that's fair then. Yeah. Um, I think it's a bit of like a fucking... You look at the peer-reviewed studies of it. Yep. And... Um, 
there's a lot of uh, fluff. There's a lot of fluff. As in, like, I don't think the academics here or people within the media here want to write about the fact that I think it's a bit of a, an Arkham... You know, like, the uh, scientific or, like, the philosophical theory of Arkham's razor? No, I don't. Fill me in. Okay, sure. This is... I'll, I'll probably put... Briefly. I'll probably put this completely, it but it's like there is a more... Scientists provide a more complex es- explanation than is need be. Uh, it, while it may be true, okay. it's like you can peel back that outer layer and at the core there is something that's much more simple... Okay. Okay, so but give, us the, give an, us the Reddit core. That's an avoidance of the reality of it. They yes. give a differing explanation, I'm very, which may be true. I'm very interested because last semester at uni, I did a, a unit on the Australian yeah. screen. So I'm very interested. We dealt with some of this as well. Sure. I'm very um, interested. What, um, what I, you feel? I guess online, uh, I guess amongst scholars and academics, they put it down to... Um, uh, they want to put it down to uh, one being not enough like gov- government funding... Really? Yeah. Um, I don't think that's it. Yeah, no, another one. What's... Fuck. I'm going to have to cut this. Give me two sacks. Mm, it's okay. Give me two sacks. What are the main What are the main arguments they're making online? I could have padded, but I didn't want to jump in when I felt like it was... Yeah, what What? What, what are the examples you got? Oh, I definitely feel like um, like uh, humour and context and personalities yep. are hard to translate. Like... Dude, uh, that's and that's the that's the thing. Kath and Kim yeah, couldn't work. That's the thing that, for some reason, just academics here and people within the media don't want to admit. Yeah, that um, they come up with this fluffy answer around why it may be the technicalities of it and the media and the marketing of it, which is an element yeah. of it. Um, but I think it really does when it comes to the crunch. A lot of people don't want to hear the accent. A lot of people don't want to see the, you know, when they're so used to big budget Hollywood films and then they see something that's made in Nary Warren, they don't want to. They're like, this seems a bit student filmy. (laughs) It depends on the project. It's funny that I was thinking about that because... Uh, a tweet came out the other day that um, Strictly Ballroom, mm. but like it was the anniversary of the, mm-hmm, the premiere, I think thirtieth sure, anniversary, sure, sure. Or blah blah yeah, blah, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was very popular overseas in America, mm. and and that had some kind of Australian humour or some mm-hmm. you know awkwardness to it, mm-hmm. so that translated. But then you get some other stuff that just doesn't fly through. It's interesting. Mm. It de- maybe it depends on how unique for the example that the story of Strictly Ballroom is kind of like the underdog dancers the ugly duckling uh, (laughs) getting the guy it's a a bit of a romance as well versus something like the castle that most of its jokes is so intergrained in our culture Mm. of what we find funny and that was a big part of my thing where it's like these the shows that do translate are very um, derived of uniquely Australian culture Yep, and they sort of just are more applicable to like hey everyone there are women across the world that can connect with the story of, like, um, Hannah Gatsby and Annette, and Annette you know yes. what I mean? And yep. it's like, um, there are people across the world who can resonate with or know a Jamae King or, you know, Chris Lilly's characters, yep. uh, Jonah from Tonga or she, what, um, Mr. J- G. Jamae could be from any country. Sure, exactly, yeah. Yep. Everyone knows a Jamae. Everyone knows yeah. a Mr. G. I th- but I think you got to find the middle ground. You're saying, uh, char- AJ, characters that anyone could have, but then if you push it the other way... I think there's some uh, Australian things that have appealed because they're, like, for example, unique landscape, something mm-hmm. like uh, oh, Picnic at Hanging Rock or even the film Australia. While well, Australians hated it, Americans <laughs> thought it was good. Sure, sure, sure. Because yeah. it's like, wow, here's the outback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here is Darwin. Yeah, yeah. It's, then it's, like, unique, but they can understand it. So, I don't know. But that's, I, a, that's a weird one where it's like they look at stuff that's either, like... <clears throat> it's either so Australian yeah. that they'll be, like... People still talk about, like the men at work song, you know what I mean? Internationally, oh, yeah. it's like, what's something Australian? It's like, I, I come from the land down under. Yeah. It's just so Australian. They're like, hey, this, is a, bit a of, this is a bit of an insight into Australian culture when in reality it's like, huh? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's... When's the last time I had a Vegemite sandwich? Yeah, it's like someone writing about Australia, but are they actually live Like, they were Australian, but it's almost like, do they live here anymore? Do mm, they get it? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Or they just want to kind of make what Americans assume about us? Yeah, it's made for, like, it might be made about Australia, but it's made for an American audience. Which uh, is very much like the film Australia. Yeah. Baz made it for America. Yeah, which is what we're... Love Baz, though. Which is what, um... I'm going to... Like, I think I'm sort of looking into, like, why they're starting to make more things that are sort of made by Australians or Ooh. in Australia, but just not for or about Australians. It's not Australian stories at all. They're making, um, what's the new one? Heartbreak High. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I think that'll be very uniquely Australian. They're though. making Byron Bay's. You know, this is just general. Oh, okay. inf- this is just influences. You know what I mean? They could be anywhere in the world. There's nothing. It's not nothing to do with mm. Byron. I think. I mean, I think a good example is where there's. That's why the locals hate it there because they're like, this isn't Byron. Oh, isn't okay, okay, okay. I think there's uh, some more examples in the last couple of years where there's been films that are you know made by, for example, Australian directors filmed in Australia, mm. but aren't Australian stories. Like, do you know The Invisible Man with Elizabeth uh-huh. Moss? Is that the one where the guy's in a suit and he goes invisible? Yes. That's awesome. Um, but that was that was made in Sydney. What? Um, I'm pretty it, sure. How the hell? Yeah, sure. But, I mean, because they have the studio, massive sure. film studio in yeah, Sydney. Sure, sure, sure. Um, where was the house then? I don't know. It was on a cliff face. Maybe I'm wrong. No, Maybe no, I'm wrong. you're fine. Maybe, I'm, I'm sure they just saw the exteriors. Maybe I'm wrong. It was definitely an Australian director. Yeah, cool. Um, but I, I think there's... It's not, it's not a bad film. There's more, yeah, more times where they're kind of getting projects in Australia that aren't kind of Australian filming in Australia that aren't Australian stories yeah so I don't know we're broadening but anyway did you see um, speaking of Invisible Man nice the suit sort of um, I reckon we're going to cut some of that <laughs> just it was good it was too long <laughs> no uh, it was just not well like we were talking about not broadly applicable to uh, sorry <laughs> no, the, you know what the, you know what the problem we'll was the end, yeah. you know what the problem was I got very interested in no, it it was interesting it was so good. that's why it was good alright yeah. we're going to do 40 more minutes now <laughs> I'm totally talking shit dude um, so yeah, uh, speaking, speaking, get us off. Speaking, get us of, off. speaking of the Invisible Man, for those who have seen it, who have seen it, how do yeah. you describe it? It's like it's sort of a horror film, but it's like you, this girl is. I would her, say more thriller. Yeah, thriller where this guy, this Invisible Man, is torturing her and like or tormenting her, terrorizing yes. her, and no one believes her because he's invisible. Yeah. Um, but it's <laughs> the way it's like revealed, or the way he's doing this or executing this. It's not magic. It's like he's like this tech. Guy, it's technology, and he's built a suit that's like all yeah. like when he, when the technology fucks up and she stabs him, you see he's like in this suit of like m- thousands of cameras that reverse mm. project it and mirror it, so it can't be like he can't be seen. Mm. Wild concept. Which, by the way, the I remember in two thousand eight, I read this article about. Uh, Victor- and you re- you remember the exact year? Yeah, Victoria Police were working on an invincibility cloak. Right, inspired by Harry Potter, obviously. I guess, yeah. But it's weird that the, like the police were like, "Let's make a cloak." You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, uh, as to why that never came to fruition, who you know, who knows? I don't know. As to why the um, you or know, maybe it has come into play, but we don't know about it. As to why, oh, we haven't seen that. Yeah, here. Oh, dude, because it's invisible. Yeah, with us. Yeah, yeah, they're here with us. Yeah, I'd love that. Um, who are some people in uh, the world of... Uh, we were talking about Harry... Did you mention Harry Potter? Yeah, yeah, I did. Who are some people in the world of Harry Potter that are doing interesting things recently? <laughs> oh, do you mean the actors? I thought you meant the characters. You mean the actors? Yeah, you know what's weird is Daniel now- Radcliffe did a film earlier this year with Sandra Bullock and ah! uh, Channing Tatum. Wow. He played- yes, I saw it. I saw yeah, it. you did. Yeah, yeah, it was I good. It. it was okay. I liked it. It was a good film was to what see we with expect- a fan. It was what we expected. Yeah, yeah, it was a family outing, all four of us. I went with my friend Brian and my friend Miranda, and she loved it. Oh, she perfect. Had a, she had a great time. But I love Sandy B as well. Sure. Yeah. Um, I love Sandra. But what... Um, you, know, you know what's fun? We love talking about Zendaya on this podcast. Do we? Yeah, dude. We talked about her last week and how she's massive. Oh, that's right. Yeah. How but we don't talk about that much. She's like... She towers, she's, she's like six foot five. She towers over all the men around her. And Tom uh, Holland's like six, five foot Is she one. actually six foot five? No, I'm making it up. She's a beast. She um, doesn't look that tall. It's, he's pretty short. <laughs> she's, they're both gorgeous. Anyway, but yeah. Um, we talk about Zendaya. Yeah, so, like, now she's, you know, she's known sort of most prominently and originally probably for Spider-Man, right? Uh, yeah. As MJ. Then uh, she sort of, and Tom Holland, most prominently known originally for Spider-Man. Yes. And then they sort Where of... Where is this going? And then they sort of transcend into these roles that are, like, uh, Cherry and uh, what's the other one? Uh, the Devil All the Time. Yeah. And fucking um, with Robert Pattinson. And then Daya does fucking... Um, Malcolm and Marie. Yeah. And uh, she, she does Euphoria. Yes. Oh, she's... Yeah, now, yeah. Euphoria, of course. These shows Sorry. are very... These movies that they're doing in shows. Yeah are very dark and thematically very heavy and not yes. like a um there's not that like there's definitely not much of a crossover um crossover audience for the kids that are watching spider-man but the funny thing is the people who but there's tom holland stands out there mm, i sure. remember when they all watched sure. devil all the time and they, they were freaked. freaking the they fuck freaked out, out. Sure. i love that though which i'm sure people do for Robert pattinson and yeah. the light in the lighthouse or something you yeah know? then they would be stunned they're like oh this isn't for me no yeah. it's not it's weird, yeah, because they think of him, they like, well, make another Twilight. And I, Do you think and I Willem get that. Dafoe has any stands? Uh, yeah, I stand. But they're not, they're not 14-year-old girls. Not, for, not so much 14-year-old. Imagine the girl who's fucking got photos of posters of Willem Dafoe's head all over her Though room, dude. Their parents would be, like, freaking. Very concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They would be like, well, you know, Ben wanted to be Kelly. You ought to be Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's weigh it up, which was worse. 
No, Willem Dafoe's all right. He's like, you see him, you see one uh, He's more than all right. What I are you was, talking as, about? As he's a, fantastic. He's one of the best actors there yeah. is. He's one of the best actors out there. Yeah. Um, but I was just scared of him as a kid because of his portrayal of the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin. Yeah. terrified me. He was great. Um, but anyway, let's, I feel link, like let's this... link it in that way back to Spider-Man, yes, which was... links us back to Harry Potter. This was going somewhere. Yeah, which is, now that's totally acceptable for Tom Holland and Zendaya to do that. Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Do you remember when um, Daniel Radcliffe first started breaking out of the Harry Potter bubble and he was yes. doing portrayals of, like, there was criticisms because he was doing some stage show where he was nude, na- he was nude and yeah. there was one where he was smoking a cigarette and people were going... People were, like, parents were going, yeah, I can't... He can't be... My kids are gonna... That's, and it's that's like, hey, HP. Don't let, don't let him see it. Don't take Correct. him to the theatre show. Yeah, it yeah, would have been an adult show as well. But that's very different because that was only 2007. You started, yeah. yeah, it's not that long ago, but I now there's just a different sort of mentality. Right I now. think so it's many cool. kids grew up for so long with Harry Potter mm-hmm. versus kids that enjoyed Spider-Man but it wasn't such a part of their world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, sure. Be uh, maybe, yeah, maybe that's the case. Sure, sure, sure. But um, yeah, all seems to be good. All it seems, seems to be, be good in the hood. Yeah. Hey, bit of a bit of a slight different tangent, but no, another TV off. show with yeah. nostalgia for kids. Yeah. Um, there's look, there's a lot of things I see on Twitter, on the internet, oh, on our, on my phone. How much? Yeah, on my phone. Um, yeah, sure. But I follow a lot of pop culture accounts, and there's a lot of things that come <laughs> up as oh, anniversaries. Uh-huh. It it turns out that August 28th, which just went by last oh, week, God. was the International Power Rangers Day. What? Do you remember the Power Rangers? Go Go Power Rangers. It's yeah. still it's still a TV show go, to this go. day. How many are there now? There's like been thirty seasons. No, but isn't there how many? Um, what colors are there now? Is there heaps more colors? Well, there's only so many colors you can use. I think they tried to get a bit more creative. There was once like a gold, a purple, a yeah, silver. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I did watch it a few times. It was cool. Yeah. I watched it on DVD. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, my point being that yeah. a couple of years ago, I was at the Supernova Comic Convention. Mm, I went with you. What? I went with you. No, you didn't. We went to Comic Con together. Yes, but this is a different one. Sorry, I got confused. That okay. that was Oz Comic Con. This is Supernova. It's the same thing, just by a different company. That was the worst day of my life, by the way. No, I'm <laughs> totally talking. We're gonna shit. unpack I had that fi- later. I had fi- I had fun at Comic-Con. We're gonna unpack that. I later. saw a Transformer. It was awesome. Okay, back back to what I need to say. Transformer. Power Rangers International Day. Mm. I I'm not. A, I mean, I, I I'm like you. Day. Yeah, sure. Anyway, <laughs> they had one of the original stars from the original Power Rangers come. He played the green Power Ranger in the first show who then turned into white Power Ranger. Oh. But. Interesting. We're standing in line to get in. This was a pretty popular line. But I, I just thought, oh, this guy is nostalgic. Mm-hmm. I'll go see this guy. Go my, go Power Rangers, yeah. Me and my sister were in line. There's this guy in front of us who turns behind Whoa. and just starts talking to me non-stop. Uh, yeah, and what I should have done was, hey, man, I'm in line to see this guy, but I'm actually not a massive fan. I got no clue what's going on in the show. Oh, he was wanting to talk to you about the show. He, all of a sudden, said, how exciting is this? And I was like, yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. How long can he you... He then talked yeah. to me non-stop for a good oh, 10 to 15. Oh, awkward, dude. About, oh, I think this should have happened in this show. I think this character should have had this sword. And I didn't have the heart to break it to that I had no clue what was going on. So I just um umlaad for 15 minutes. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I thought that was good too. Yeah. It's such a bizarre thing to happen, isn't it? Like when... Like, do they even either not catch on, or do they go, I'm doing half the talking, mm. or they go, hey, maybe this guy just doesn't know what's up, or like, maybe I should find someone else to talk to about this show. Yeah. Maybe they could think, hey, I'm sad. You know, how old was this guy? Um, a, a fully grown adult. Okay, so I should be thinking to, to myself, I'm sad. You know, um, I need to find, you know, I need to, I'm talking to this guy who isn't interested about Power Rangers. We're both lining up for this. We're both, let, we're both quite sad. Let me, do- <laughs> <laughs> let me just say, I don't think he was. Fully there on the social spectrum. Ah, sure. So you're criti- so you're criticizing. Um, no, guy- <laughs> that's not. <laughs> so you're criticizing a guy who's you know. I'm not <sighs> criticizing, but it just reminded me of my awkward encounter. What I had to do eventually was just kind of slowly turn my back till he finally got the hint. Slowly turn my back, and once we went into the auditorium, and you we watched. To- we watched what side he went to, and I said to Tash, go to the fucking other side. Yeah. And get then the you- fuck away from me. Yeah, and you waved to a security guard and said, get this freak off me. Get the freak away from me. <laughs> get him me. out of here. Yeah, he can't I, be, he shouldn't be here. Yeah. He's going that way, I'm going this way. Mm. It was awkward, man. Yeah, no, that shit can be rough. And what, when did I cop that the other day? It wasn't so, like, I knew her. It was actually my teacher. Oh, no. <laughs> From I was the, I was high the, school or primary school? No, no um, it's fucking university just oh. the other day. On Friday, <laughs> last Friday, dude. Okay. Yeah, I rock up to class and no one else was there. And this is my fucking no. film. This is my film criticism class. And she goes, hey, no one showed up. Like, and it's like fucking, because I was there like 15 minutes late. And she goes, no one showed up. <gasps> no. Yeah, dude. Um, and anyway, long story short, um, I, they changed the orders of the 
weeks of the films we okay. wanted to watch. We were one week was The Exorcist, okay. and the next week was something called The Sheep, something about the sheep or something. The sheep. Yes. Yeah, so. Sean the sheep. <laughs> sure. Let's say it was Sean the sheep. Nice. Right? And I say there would be a lot of criticism of that. Yeah. And I say, um, she goes, so what did you think of the film? I guess we'll talk about it for a minute. And I go, yeah, sure. Let's talk about it one on one. This would be oh, good. This yeah. would be a good insight. And I go, yeah, it was good. Like it's a, like it was an interesting because I watched The Exorcist. Yep. I go, man, it was really like, just like uh, interesting. Like it's a, I'd never seen it before, but it was like, not what like I expected and that it was a horror, but it was like sort of more definitely a drama and like thematically it was very interesting and I can see why this is a, a classic horror film. I think there was flaws, this, this, this. And I went on and she's going, huh? Like, and she looked really, what's the word? Bewildered. Yeah. And, um, she's going, well, it's not really like a horror. And I'm going, yeah, I'm going, it's a horror. And she's going, not really. And I'm going, yeah, well, it's like sort of a drama, but it's not. And she's going, huh? And then she's got, and then I'm, we sort of get to the point where like, I'm like, she's really confused and I'm really confused. And it was just this yeah. thing where she goes, um, I, I can't remember how we eventually realized that I didn't watch Shaun the Sheep when I should have watched Shaun the Sheep. And she's thinking about, I'm talking about Shaun the Sheep. Yeah. Going, it's well, it's not really a horror. Well, it's not really a drama, <laughs> drama at all. And if yeah. there was more people in the class, it wouldn't yeah. have got to this point. Yeah. And then she went on to, cause, and then she went, oh, they switched the weeks of the film. And I go, okay, shit. Well, sorry. I haven't seen the film yeah. yet. I'm going, sorry, I'll watch it next week. I'll watch it tonight or something. Yeah. Um, but obviously anything you say from, and I also, um, yeah. I didn't know anything she was talking. I didn't get what Fair she was enough. talking about. Well, if you didn't expect to... But, in, but instead of just going, oh, shit. Wrong week. Yeah, um, let's talk about something else, or let's talk about the assignment or something. Yeah, that would be smart. She just proceeds to talk about Sean the Sheep for the next half an hour, oh, no. and expecting me to chime in and be like, didn't you think this? Didn't you think this? And I'm like, I just told you I've not seen... <laughs> you, uh, you know I saw The Exorcist, dude. I don't know shit about Sean the Sheep. Why just talk to you about The Exorcist then? It was interesting, I, but I haven't watched Sean the Sheep yet, but I'm going to go into it with the um, existing context that she's given me. So that's that's something, but it was just a very, like, I'm like, she, did she register that? She's very smart and she's a lovely lady. I was about to say, this sounds like, well, to be teaching at university, you have to have some level of intelligence. Mm, yeah. My person was a Power Rangers fan in his mid-20s. <laughs> Your person was an oh, academic he's in lecturer. in his mid-20s. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Well, how old do you think you was. You said a full-grown man. I was picturing 50s. No, sorry. I thought full-grown I was, man I, I, I was, over the age of 18. Dude, I thought it was like, because you like, you're like, how old are you? You've forgotten? We're the I same know, age. I'm 28. I'm 27. You're, you're older than me. Oh, that's right. Yes, sir. I'm a year older. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I'm 27. But you look like you're 12. Which is something that's come up at uni this week twice. Dude, I look like I'm young too. You, But you look like you're older than me. No. Oh. But any, anyway, what I'm getting at is... Great, I look like I'm 12, not even 15? Let's say you look like you're 15, 12 or 15. <laughs> I, thought this guy, 12. I, thought, I thought this guy in the line in front of you at the parents' convention... Was also 12. No, I thought he was 50 and this was like a to catch a predator type deal. And, <laughs> and he was, you know, trying to... What a way to catch a predator at the Power Rangers line for the convention. It's perfect. It's foolproof. You've got the <laughs> alibi of I just love Power Rangers. Yeah, what a bond that we would both have. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was no pizza at this Power Rangers convention, but I wish there was. So he goes, um, do you like, you know, which which Power Rangers is your favourite? And you're going, red, I guess. And he's going, yeah, yeah, you like to suck cock? And you're going, ah. Uh, it's like, what? I guess. <laughs> that wasn't in the show. Yeah, sure. What am I? That didn't happen to the Lord Planet of <laughs> Viton. No, Th- it's dead. That didn't happen when they said, let's morph in time. It's morphine. Which you know, parents back in the day were not happy with because in America, like morphine. Morphine. Oh, okay. They weren't happy. I thought, okay, sure, morphine. Yeah, there you go. So they would always say, it's morphine time. It's morphine time. Okay, sure. That's like the Miley Cyrus doll that used to go, um, later we'll have some fucking pie and we'll do some Carolyn. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I remember it from the show. I gotta get that up, dude. Well, it was a, like, it was a Hannah, fuck, it was a Hannah Montana doll. Make sure you don't put it on mute. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, fuck, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Yeah, don't put it on mute. Um, keep it rolling. Yeah, sure, I'll keep it rolling. Hannah Montana, we've gone all over the place today. Have we, have we spoken too much about TV shows? I'm a bit worried for the audience. Well, we spoke about Cat, so there was something in there for everyone. (laughs) That everyone gets around, horses can get around it. How long do you want me to pad for? Do I bring up another topic? Uh, no, no, any second now. Any it's second. Just, it all depends on this fucking... Why am I not on the Wi-Fi here? Why am I not connected to the Wi-Fi? I was actually thinking about watching the Hannah Montana movie soon, just because I haven't seen it in so long. Did you disconnect me from the Wi-Fi? Mm, oh, I didn't. You rude. But our internet went down the other day. That might have affected it. Is it Direct C25 TV 3529, or is it Telstra D83845? Yep, 45. Right, I don't have the password. I'm fucked. All right, but here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It goes from minute 19. This is the mum who's very upset with the Hannah Montana doll, because it says later we'll have some fucking pie. Nice. 
Three-year-old Kelsey has a number of dolls and toys that make noise what? or sing a nursery rhyme or two. It's in Jacksonville. Of course. The doll she received for Christmas is one that Brandy Westbury had to remove from Kelsey's collection temporarily. I think it's supposed to actually be some rockin' fun, but it don't come out saying rockin' fun. Not at all. Westbury says Not a few all. days ago, Kelsey was singing the song she heard on the Hannah Montana doll. What? And I said, where, and I said, where did you learn that? Oh, my Lord, where oh. did you learn that word from? Word. So you heard her using this profane word, and you're like, where did you learn that? <laughs> <laughs> and you like, where, where did you? Yeah. He, he said it for her. Where did you learn all of that? Yes, but yeah, I know. Maybe it's a, maybe this is, maybe the interviewer is the dad. <laughs> she told me that the baby. Whisper said she has played the song yeah. over and over. And each time it sounds like it includes a curse word. How could they put this on the shelf? We listened and it was unclear. <laughs> the lyrics of the song are, later we'll have some pumpkin pie and do some care. That does not sound like pumpkin. With the words pumpkin pie. Yeah, but do you think Miley Cyrus are the people that Hannah Montana were in the studio and she's going, later we'll have some fucking... Maybe they did that and then she used the wrong... Maybe they, she was fucking around in the studio and she, and she used the wrong recording. No, or they never intended it, but it does sound like it. It sounds a bit like fucking pilots. Try yeah. it. it. sounds like profanity. There's no question, none at all. This <laughs> <laughs> clear. doesn't know... I love the mom. ...isolated incident this is just a mechanical malfunction, oh. but she decided to remove the batteries oh, oh, oh. so Kelsey can play with the doll without the music. Oh dear. She rips that she's ripping it apart. She doesn't like it now. No, she, she doesn't, doesn't like it now. now that it doesn't say it's fucking not. pie anymore. Yeah, it's not good. It when she's when it said fucking pie. Yeah. Well, you learn something new every day. Bring back my where's my fucking pie doll, mommy? Where's my fu- Can you imagine that kid just randomly one morning being like, "Have you got any fucking pie?" Yeah, fucking pie. Fucking pie. Where did where did you learn that word? <laughs> and you was like, "Where did you where? <laughs> now where in the world? Where? Now tell me something. Where? So you was like, so she came out one morning. Yeah. And you was like, and you was like weird now where, where where in the world where in the world <laughs> did you learn that word young girl like young lady young lady hannah montana hannah montana yeah i learned it from hannah montana mommy i learned it oh. from hannah montana i keep on saying that disney channel is the devil <laughs> and now i approve <laughs> Dude, I always remember this tout. Did you do you ever have tout? No, what the fuck's tout? Tout was a um like Another a social media? media platform that failed big time, but it I was bet. um prompted and I think uh, WWE had sh- big time shares in it. I think they owned a percentage of oh, it. Oh no. And so, you love WWE. Yeah, I used to, well I love yeah, the wrestling. Yeah. And um back in like twenty twelve they were really pushing hard to like on the show it was like after every ad break they'd get the super the wrestlers to post touts and they were fifteen second videos, right? Yeah. So it was a community, it really failed hard because it was only used by wrestling fans. <laughs> fans you know it was 90 percent wrestling fans on there yeah and a lot of weirdos obviously of course and so it was you know wrestlers and their 15 second videos and i think instagram launched 15 second videos not long after so it was like it was doomed it was doomed from the oh so it was around the era that instagram was alive just before yeah because in, instagram it introduced videos in like 2013 we forget okay. that yeah yeah it's um, a long time ago now it's, it's a while back. yeah yeah, yeah. scary um but tout yeah tout and um so a lot of wrestling fans post on it and um watch i watched this kid for some reason um and he goes he's from like i assume he's from jacksonville or somewhere in the south and he goes um i'm watching i'm watching oh yeah i'm watching wwe tonight i'm watching the wrestling right and like uh ray mysterio is on okay and he's doing the ray mysterio song the the Booyaka Booyaka 619. You I, know it. You no, know it. You, no, know, no, it. you no, know it. You know it. You know it. You love it. We all know it. We all love it. I guess I don't Everyone know. listening to the podcast that doesn't believe you. I'm sure they do. Uh, say something real quick. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. All good. Um, so he goes, he goes, oh yeah, I'm watching WWE tonight. Oh yeah. Rey Mysterio. Um, what does he say? And then you hear the dad and he's getting really excited. He's watching the wrestling. The dad. And then you hear the dad in the other room. <laughs> Max, I, ju- I just told you. I just told you. So mad that his son's, you know, making a, a making a tout. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. But he's being loud. I think he's the dad's oh. probably trying to. <laughs> Do not make any touts anymore. Yeah, and the son goes, "I'm make, <laughs> I'm making a tout, daddy." <laughs> The question that is on my mind is who who came up with the name Tout? 
Tat. It sounds like no, a, because a, a it'd disease. Because the expression would be touted out. Tout it out. Oh, like, like that's their sh- catchphrase. Instead yeah. of shout it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, tout it, go and tout it out. Go yeah, tout it. It didn't catch on regardless. I think it, or instead of like, go tweet it, go tout it. I realized it was doomed from the moment I heard, I'm making it tout, daddy. It was full of just people who would, I'm making it tout, oh. I would watch this one guy who was in his 50s. Yeah, nice. And he uh, would, I think he had cancer. Oh, no. And yeah, it was just, I'd watch uh, his demise. He wanted, I was the he only wanted to person. His wrestling I'd fans. like every video of his because I felt so bad for him. Oh, that's yeah. not good, though. That's yeah. not good. Well, I hope wrestling, WWE, got around him. But it's one of those things where it's like he would just post every, like, every Moment. minute of every day. Oh. He'd be po- posting a tout. Yeah, yeah but 50 He'd year olds don't understand. Out. 50-year-olds don't understand that you should not be posting so much. Uh, it's bad for the... Even back then, it was bad for the algorithm. Didn't help. Didn't help him. Gotta, gotta get the algorithm. Gotta yeah. get those likes. Gotta get you pop to the top. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, these pop days to on the Instagram... Top. Yeah. Oh, you gotta tout it out. These days on Instagram, you get a favourite the profile or get them at the top of your feed. I wonder whether I'm making it tout daddy kid is now. Yeah, you should try and find out. Well, dude, I can't. I tried to find him. I tried to find out where he was now. You tried to go on tout. And by the way, only like 20 people, or like 14 people watch this video. Okay. So I'm the only person. You're talking about him as if he was this viral <laughs> no, it was No, it was just me and my freaking oh, okay. friend Jaden who loved it. Like watched it all the time. Like I sent it to him. Ah, right. oh, fuck, man, I'd love to find it, but there's no way I can find it because... There's no way. ...the tout server's down, dude. They took it off. <laughs> tout does not even tout. Uh, cease to exist, yeah. Won't bust. Oh, well, I've had a tout in a good time. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, we doing that? Sure. We doing that? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Why not? Unless. 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 What do you, what do you feel? We do one more half hour block. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's all right. Well, no, nah, we'll, we'll do it and we'll go again Thursday. We'll go again Thursday. You down? Yeah. Did you feel good about this? Yeah, fuck it. I feel like we had a tout in good time. It was a tout, it was a tout in good time, yeah, man. I've, I'll, t- I'll tout this so out very much. soon. We need the fucking logo and then I'll tout it out. I know. Well, and then, yeah, we need to get things set up. But we that's need, we need not to, for listeners yeah, to Yeah, we need, we need to set up TikTok. We need to set up the Instagram. We need to set up a tout. So much. T- the word TikTok sits in a weird space for me. <laughs> we need to set up a B-reel. We need to set up a... Uh, a tout? Wait. Um, a... Google Plus. Yeah, remember Google Plus? Yeah. And you could have little Google Hangouts, which funnily yeah. enough, now you can do in other, you know, like on Instagram, there's close friends. We're ahead of the game. On Twitter, there's now circles. I think Google Plus was ahead of the game. And, and then there's Zoom. You know, there's Zoom. 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 And Zoom. then there's Teams. People try to make some fucking weird yeah, shit catch Microsoft on. Teams. It's like Tout, you know what I mean? People try to make Tout catch on. I've never heard of Tout. Yeah, I'm sure you haven't. I'm gonna, I wonder if it even has a Wikipedia page oh, this about is, Tout. This is a, a perfect example of what the show's about, uh, being on our phone. Yeah, I want you to quickly look up, does Tout even have a Wikipedia page? Then we're going from there. Yeah, okay. I look up Tout, and what the fuck? Why did I look up Tout on fucking... And can you even spell it out for me? T-O-U-T. Oh, okay. T-O-U-T. Tout. How else would you spell it? Why does it keep going to YouTube? I hate this new fucking Safari shit. Well, use Chrome then. No. Uh, You should. Oh, I know, I know what's happening here. It keeps correcting. Think I'm trying to go, as opposed to tout, it's going to YouTube. Oh, yeah, true. Because you tout. All right, tout um, video. Well, I don't even know what the fuck to search because no one knew about it. Tout um, vid, video. Um, fucking hell, there is nothing coming up for tout, dude. There's nothing. But people did use it for a while. Tout was a thing. I don't know if I believe you. I'm going to do some research later. Tout was legitimate. Tout company. Tout was an online social networking service and microblogging service that enabled its users to send and view 15-second videos known as Touts. Nice. Yeah. And nice. look, that's the logo for Tout. I oh, it. nice. Big yeah. O. That's a nice. The big, big O. The big O, yeah. I got, some good, I got some good Touts, man. I got some good, good Touts back in the day. Good. I'd love to find my Touts. Where are they? They'll be gone. Launched April 2010. Current status inactive. Yeah, when did it go out of business? Dissolved in 2019. Not that long ago. That so had, it, a, good, had it, a good run. <laughs> Nine <laughs> years. Yeah. That's funny. It went for nine years. I never knew about it. Oh, okay. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. On July 11th, 2012, WWE invested $5 million into oh, Tout Industries, no. Inc.'s Tout Series B preferred stock in July 2012. They must have thought it was going to be big. Yeah. Um, into a two-year strategic partnership and with Tout, WWE will be eligible, eligible to receive up to... Eleven thousand two hundred fifty shares. Do the listeners want to hear this? <laughs> Think about that. Do the listeners want to hear this? 
<laughs> you got to put this out into the world. Um, they want to hear about the stock. That is all we have about Tower. That's great. That That's is, great. Because I was about to cut you off anyway. That is all we unfortunately have about Tout. Um Look, the listeners learnt lots about Tout even without you kind of giving the spiel. Yeah, I wonder if there's a site where someone downloaded all the touts. There's, and, it wouldn't be and possible. Re, and re-uploaded all the touts. It wouldn't be possible to download all of them. Just some of them. Hopefully just the I'm making a tout daddy tout. Well, <laughs> <laughs> your job is to spend the next couple of days searching up for it. If you can find it, perfect. If you can't find it, what we will. Even, what do you even search to find that? I, I'm making a tout <laughs> daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You reckon? Fuck yeah, dude. All right, we're leaving it there. We're leaving it there. That was a good show. And always remember. Tout it out loud.